tried a number of different methods for making a wand. They all work perfectly well. Here we have PVC pipe. A long piece can be cut into smaller pieces. Little tape on them to make them look fancy. And you're all set. I've also used bamboo. Typically this bamboo at a gardening store comes in bundles of three for about $15. You cut it to length. You do need to make sure that you get a bundle where the pieces of bamboo are straight and they're not cracked. Again, the bamboo works perfectly well. Find a diameter that fits comfortably in your hand, as they do vary. What I've decided is the most elegant solution is to use a broom handle. These broom handles are already finished and they have a nice heft to them. Typically, for somebody who's more than six feet tall, you'll be using a wand that's about five feet in length. For people under six feet, and so that you have more versatility and are able to switch sides more easily without adjusting where you're holding the wand, a four foot length is appropriate. These I'm cutting to four foot lengths. In one of the older books, they say that when holding the wand on the floor in front of you, in a vertical position, the wand should come up approximately to your mouth. Here, I'm filing down the cut end of the wand to round it off a little and make it look finished. After rounding off the end, I apply a little bit of a touch-up staining pen in order to finish it off and make the color of the wand look more uniform. Certainly you could buy a can of stain and some finish, but these touch-up pens that are made to repair scratches in finished furniture do the job in one coat. Once you've cut your wand to length, filed it down, then you're ready to go with various types of wand exercises. In the next video, I'll show you some of the variations of wand exercises that you can start to experiment with.